grant that the new birth of your son in the flesh redeems us from the old slavery under the yoke of sin, so we may receive him with joy as our Messiah, our Redeemer, and our King. Put into our hearts the peace which we seek and which you alone can give us. Help us in Nigeria to know one another better and to live as brothers and sisters, children of the same father, irrespective of ethnic group, religion, political association, or social status. Oh Lord, awaken in our hearts love and gratitude for your infinite goodness. Join us all together in your love and give us your heavenly peace. As we reflect today on the birth of the Savior, deliver us from every evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to celebrate Christmas with hearts free of sin and evil. Let your mercy reach us from the heavens. Lord, caress us, embrace us, and pierce our hearts with your love. Touch the hearts of those who do evil in whatever form that they will stop. Touch, renew, and transform the hearts of those who in this country are planning to cause violence, civil disturbance, pain, suffering, displacement, and death. Cause them to have a change of heart. Lord God, come to us, fill our hearts with joy, and grant us the light in Christmas, which is faith, the warmth of Christmas, which is love, the radiance of Christmas, which is purity, the righteousness of Christmas, which is justice, the belief in Christmas, which is truth, the all of Christmas, which is Christ. May this program be gone in your holy name, be happily ended in your name, through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God continue to bless us. May we be solidly united in love, in joy, and peace as fellow Nigerians and people of the same human race. All this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. You may please be seated, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. God is enthroned upon the praises of His people, and here to lead us as we proclaim the Messiah. Please welcome Minister. to God, glory be to God. The Bible says, clap your hands, O ye people. So please give the Lord a round of applause and bless his holy name. The Bible says, blessed be the name of the Lord. We give you to worship you. Yeah. 
Can you please give God praise? Somebody shout hallelujah. Hey, one thing we ask of you. One thing that we desire. Hey, that as we worship you. Lord, come and change your lives. Everybody say, all right. Take 
and group. Could we give him a round of applause? Thank you, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. We can please be seated. Your Excellency, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo. Your Excellency, the wife of the Vice President, Mrs. Dolapo Oshibajo. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lankwe Omoyele, and it is my Distinct pleasure to welcome you to the 2022 State House Christmas Choral Concert themed the Messiah. This evening we shall celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Messiah of the world. And as we proceed, I would like to recognize distinguished members of the Senate here present, members of the House of Representatives, members of the judiciary, the secretary to the government of the Federation, the head of the service, and members of the Federal Executive Council, our royal fathers here present, members of the diplomatic corps, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, you are indeed welcome to what promises to be a truly exciting evening. I'd also like to request that you do me a favor, that you look around you and give a warm welcome to those around you, wishing them, if you will, welcome in your local language and also Merry Christmas in your local language. May I request that you please do that very, very simple test. Thank you very much. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I see that we've all passed the test. If anybody didn't do it to you, please look for somebody else. One more test, one more test. Can you just say in any language, God bless you? In any language, God bless you. I think that you all deserve a round of applause. So may I ask that you please give yourselves a very warm round of applause. Thank you very much indeed. We shall be proceeding with this event. The Bible tells us that out of the mouth of babes, the Lord has ordained praise. Please give a very warm welcome to the Asso Villa Chapel Children Choir. Be 
was not so in the beginning. This is how the story began. I'm an angel. I've got a message for you. A message? Okay.
people so full of chill. Smash them in the ears and the love of Christ dominates the atmosphere. Solar celebrate a little bit. This one's for the grown folks and the little kids. Hey, our Savior has never leave us. Who not to us to free us at this day? That is say, happy birthday. This Jesus. is the season to rejoice. Live by your song.
give it up for the Asso Villa Chapel Children's Choir. Indeed, they are, they are blessed. Next up, we have another youthful group to come minister to us. And they are located here in Abuja. Please give a resounding applause as we receive the Eagles Music Academy Abuja. I, I sense a bit of bias at the back. Is it because they have been... All right. Can we please welcome the Eagle Music Academy Abuja. Thank you very much.
That has been a wonderful performance. Thank you, Eagles Music Academy, Abuja. May I please request that you give them another warm applause, deserving of the quality of that performance. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to let you know that there are microphones all around the hall. I would like to encourage you that as various groups come to minister, that you also are free to being having microphones all around the stage. And so we are going to have, I hope many of us can sing along with this old choral song, which is from the southwestern parts of Nigeria. It goes like this, and please, if you do know, please sing along. It heralds and speaks about the angels. It goes something like this. that goes Gulu so Gulu so Can we please give a round of applause to the Congregational Choir? Thank you very much. And it's a pleasure to welcome on stage the Emo City Choral from Oberi.
Let us rejoice, let us celebrate, let us be glad. Magnify. Let's do this. Exalt and glorify. Exalt. Exalt. Magnify. Exalt and glorify. Exalt. Magnify. Exalt and glorify the Lord.
Thank you, Imo City Choral Oweri. Can we please give them another warm round of applause? Thank you, Your Excellences, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. We shall take the first lesson. The first lesson, the Messiah has come from the gospel according to St. John chapter 4, verses 24 to 27. It's my pleasure to invite, representing the Senate President, Senator Emmanuel Wacha, C-O-N, to take the first lesson. Amen. John chapter 4, verse 24 to 27. The Messiah has come. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The woman said unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee, I am he. And upon this come his disciples and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, What seekest thou us? 
Why talkest thou with her? May the Lord bless his word. Thank you, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something special on the program, a monologue. I'd like to invite on stage Jennifer Agabata. Please give her a warm welcome. You see, day in, day out, there is a constant urge, a constant nudge, a constant need to want to share this belief I hold so. A belief that is a constant reminder of who I am. A belief that has been my constant companion. A belief that <laughs> makes me whenever I am weary or tired. This belief that is rooted in Christianity. A belief that emanates from a story, a story that I would share with you, the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. Many years after it had been foretold that a Messiah was coming to save the world, an angel appeared to Mary and told her that she was to birth the Messiah, the one that one had longed for, the one that people were waiting to see. Mary, not pregnant, never been married. <laughs> and that begets the question, how? Mary pondered on this day and night, but she never doubted because a betrothed just had the same message from an angel. And so, believed Virgin Mary got pregnant. Immaculate conception, it was called. Because the pregnancy was of God and not of man. Mary and Joseph embarked on a journey. All efforts to get an, ab an accommodation proved abortive. The only space they could see was a little pot in a stable. Jesus was born in the midst of the animals. But as soon as he was born, a bright light shone. A light so bright that everyone knew that the Messiah was here. Everyone knew. They followed the star. They kept bearing gifts. And ever since then, it has become a yearly event to celebrate the birth of the one who came with a light so bright that people didn't need to see him before they believed him. A light so bright that he rekindled hope in the hearts of those who did not believe. A light so bright that it signified the very first miracle that ever happened because nothing like that had been seen before. And so, whenever I am tired or weak, I key into this moment. I celebrate. I rejoice. I am happy for the miracles that the bright light brings. And I have never been disappointed. Today, I share with you this hope, this joy, these miracles that you may go tell others the reason for the Jesus Christ it is not just a time to be merry and eat it is a time to share love and hope and miracles and joy and to believe Merry Christmas in advance everyone thank you
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the scriptures tell us that in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy and pleasures evermore. This evening, we celebrate the Messiah. And to remind us that the reason for the season is Jesus, and it's all about God alone. Please welcome a worship leader of note, Tolu Odukoya Ijogu. Until the Son of God appears, he just rejoices. shall come to thee. Kiss the face of God. Where did you know? 
Thank you, Minister Tolu Odukai Jogo. Can we please give her another warm applause? <laughs> Next up on stage, we'd like to invite the vocal care choir from Oshogo Oshun State, in the southwest part of Nigeria. Can we please give them a warm welcome as they come on stage?
Merry Christmas to you, my country. Merry Christmas to you, Nigeria. Merry Christmas to the South. Merry Christmas to the East. Merry Christmas to the North and the West. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Nigeria. Yes, to abundance.
Thank you, the Vocal Care Choir Oshogo Oshun State. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we shall be taking the congregational hymn, the first one which can be found on page four, and this will be led by the Vocal Care Choir Oshogo. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, may I please request that you rise as we all take together the first congregational hymn, Joy to the World. We shall be taking only the first stanza. Thank you, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and thank you again to the Vocal Care Choir. Next up, 
please welcome the symphonies from Abuja. I think we can do better, please, as we welcome them on stage, the symphonies Abuja. Yeah. 
And may all your Christmases be wise. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card we write. May your day. And children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow.
Thank you, Symphonies Abuja. That indeed was wonderful. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we're moving along with this concert, The Messiah, and we shall be taking the second lesson, Mary's Angelic Visitation, from the Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 1, verses 26 to 37. It's my pleasure to invite you to take the reading, Barrister Mary Omoyeme Musa. Can we please welcome her as she takes the reading? First chapter, starting from the 26th verse through to the 37th. Luke chapter 1, 26 through to 37. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be? saying, I know not a man. The angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called bearing. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Barrister Mary Omoyeme Musa. Indeed, it is the Messiah that makes all things possible. May the peace of the Lord be with you to lead us in a special prayer declaring that okay, okay, land law, please welcome the State House Chaplain, Pastor Olusheyi Joseph Malomo. Let shout, 
I think only about 15 responded. Your Excellencies and uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like an hallelujah that will reverberate around all around this auditorium, particularly because we have been informed that there are microphones all around, uh, reminding us of what is currently going on all over the world, the global mondial. Because on, on the pitch, you find that microphones are all around so that when the footballer is about to score, you could actually hear the sound of his hitting the ball. So let somebody who believes that God is much more stronger than whatever is going on around shout the loudest, the greatest, the biggest. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. That is more like it. Your Excellencies, I had some difficulty as to how many prayer points I were to lead us in this evening. I was thinking of leading us in about 32 prayer points for about five, five minutes uh, just to recognize the World Cup going on. Then I said, maybe I will just use uh, one of the teams that have been coming, one of the choirs. They are about 30, 30. But when I recognized the timing, I decided, let me just lead us in three main prayer points. Recognizing God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. May we please all rise up, rise on our feet as we take this very, very important prayers. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, if it had not been the Lord on our side, now may Israel say. That is a psalm of thanksgiving. We are all here today, this 13th day of December, not because of how smart we are, not because of how effective our security has been, but because God has kept us. So the first prayer point is thanksgiving. May we all chorus, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so specially for preserving me to see this year. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let's go on and just thank God. Thank God for when you were in the air. Thank God for when you were driving. Thank God for the sickness he kept from you. Thank God that you are walking on your feet. Lord, I bless you. I give you praise. Lord, I worship you. I thank you, Lord, from January through to May, through to July, through to August. Thank you, Heavenly Father for November. Now I'm in December. I give you praise, Lord, for your protection, for your preservation. Thank you for our leaders. Thank you, God, for my family. Thank you, God, for our nation. Thank you for all the challenges. Thank you for victory ahead. Glory be to you, Lord. It has been you on our side. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Secondly, your excellencies, we will take a supplication for the nation. The Bible says in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 14, chapter 7, verse 14, if my people, how many of us are God's people here? Please wave your hands. He says, if we call upon his name, if we pray, if we seek his face, turn from our wicked ways, he will hear from heaven and he will what? Heal our land after forgiving our sins. May we all chorus again, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we ask for repentance. We ask for forgiveness of all our sins. And we are asking, oh Lord, heal our land. Heal our land. Can we just pray? Father, heal our land. Heal us, oh God. Heal us. Heal our land. Heal us. Heal us in the name of Jesus. Heal us socially. Heal us economically. Heal us security-wise. Heal our nation. Let your power in the name of Jesus flow over this nation. Let the power in the blood of Jesus bring healing. Let the healing virtues that is in Jesus flow, O oh God, from Sokoto, Lord. Father to Bielsa. Father from Maiduguri, Lord. Father to Lagos. Let your power bring healing. Deliver us from every evil. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And quickly, the last prayer point, we'll be making supplication for 2023. The Bible says in the book of 
expect angel ahead of you to pre to take you to the place where he has prepared. No evil shall befall you in 2023 because the Lord is sending his angel ahead of you. May we say, Heavenly Father, as you have promised, let your angel, let it go ahead of me, ahead of our leadership, ahead of my family, that in 2023, I will not strike my foot against a stone. It shall be well with me. I will see the hand and the beginning and the end of 2023. Let's pray for one minute. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask, oh God, as you have promised, let your angel go ahead of us, ahead of us into the election, ahead of us into January, through to December, ahead of our children. Let evil be far from our houses. Ah, we will begin 2023 and we will conclude it in the glorious power of your name. Our 2023 shall be better than 2022. All over this nation, your power shall be filled. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Someone that knows is going to cross into 2023 with glorious testimony. I want you now to shout the loudest, the greatest, the loudest, the strongest. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Thank you, your excellencies. I will bring the remaining prayer points next year. Thank you, Pastor Sheyi Malamo, State House Chaplain. The Lord will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. It's my pleasure to introduce a spoken word artist to come up on stage at this time. Please welcome I Be Quick. Can we give a quick in? Applause. Thank you. If Christmas was a Brigadier General, then I stand at ease. It's a feeling that comes with knowing the one behind the tree. Hey, Timori, it's hide and seek. Has me higher than the effect of ganja and trees. It's the Christmas trees for me. The jollof rice and chicken, but can I have the bread of life, please? The gifts. I hope the wise men had Christmas money in between. Frankincense and gold was the gathering of people the gold. Or were you particularly the goal? I know you have questions. Like if the Israelites followed freedom way, would they have reached the promised land by now? Ask them. He loves questions such as these. Because who can enter the palace of the Kabi Sea and not feel the weight of power? Who can stand beside the one that sits and not bow? This is Yahweh in motion. El Gibor in action. Jehovah Sikenu in righteousness. This is the Messiah. In the person Jesus. And it's why I call him master of the universe. I seek to master your nature in this verse. I seek to follow your course without taking a reverse eye. I seek to serve. Become as intimate as an intercourse. Since it's just us. Before a virus infects the entire world. I want to show the planets were already planted as planned at first and not by some theoretical research. Even as dark as the moon, I can't separate the sun from his moon because his moon was also made to shine. Astronomy wouldn't be enough to explain his creativity. Even if I studied a star, it would lead me right back to him. I could ask the wise men, but I seek the face of the wise God, in whom is a gallery of galaxies. He is MC Galaxy, the galactic master of ceremonies, the one who doesn't wait to Christmas like Santa to honor your wishes, the one who walks on water without an anchor, the one who heals the sick without the help of a babalawo, the one who performs miracles without collecting no more, the God who turns water to wine yet were drunk on the Holy Ghost. 
The God who doesn't walk with time, yet never delays like African time. To the one who is bigger than time and eternity, stronger than the fathers and priests, open your eyes to see. He who did not send the Avengers to save the world, but sent his son to save the lost one. Because he could have transformed like Hulk, become the invisible God, the strength of invisibility. He could have switched places with Thanos, delete man from eternity, he would marvel the earth with his wonder, shape shift like a shape shifter, quake creation like Thor without the hammer, he would be Superman without a kryptonite, yet he chose to die for love. As if love was a crime, he chose to pay the price. I wonder what it's like up there, daddy. I won't say I'm envious of the dead when I say R.I.P., but I'm thankful for the breath that I still breathe. I've tasted and I've seen. Your baby has a sweet tooth, but yeah, the jadi jadi I need. The sugar in my gari, you make me rise, I'm higher than the Burj Khalifa. The King Yeshua, I want to be the baby in your manger. See, Christmas without Christ will be like a bow without its arrow, it is pointless. My fellow Christians, Christ is Christmas. The reason for this season isn't only colorful trees and gathered gifts. It's remembrance of who he really is. Thank you. Thank you, I be quick. That was an excellent spoken word. Next up, already on stage, the Potter's House Choir, Kano State. Can we please encourage them? Christmas. Everything seems to be bursting with joy, but sometimes we forget where our joy comes from. It's not in the presents, it's not in the lights, it's not even making special memories of family and friends. Christmas gives us joy beyond all that. Christmas is all about the Father's love for us. God sent His Son, Jesus. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the angels appeared in the sky. Raising God with great joy. They have the greatest gifts to share with the shepherds. Jesus was born. Today, we celebrate just like the angels, knowing that God is with us. Let heaven and nature sing. Jesus is here. I give us the greatest joy of all. Merry Christmas to you all. God bless us, everyone. Thank you.
Thank you, Potter's Health Choir, Kanu States. Next, it's my pleasure to invite on stage what you might call our host choir. Please welcome the Aso Villa Chapel Choir State House.
Chapel Choir, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we shall now take the second congressional hymn, Once in Royal David City, which can be found on page five of a program booklet, and it will be led by the Asso Villa Chapel Choir. We shall take the two stanzas that are in the program booklet, Once in Royal David City.
thank you, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. We can please be seated. Christmas is born out of love, and it shows God's love for mankind, the Messiah, coming to earth to save us, to deliver the Christmas message. Rights. The Most Reverend Henry C. Indukuba, the Archbishop Metropolitan and Primate of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. The message of Christmas is one of love, peace, and joy. And to deliver the Christmas message this evening, it's our pleasure to invite the Most Reverend Henry C. Undukuba, the Archbishop Metropolitan and Primate of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. pray. Lord, our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. We ask, O oh God, that you stand in our midst and speak the word of life. Touch our hearts and stir us unto obedience. And Lord, help us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Turn with me to John chapter 4, verses 26, 25, and 26, and then Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. The woman said to him, I know the Messiah is coming, who is the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you, I am he. Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The, Lord, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The word of the Lord. We indeed give thanks to the Lord and express our unfeigned thanks to His Excellency Professor Yemi Osibanjo, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and Her Excellency, the wife, and indeed the Presidency. The Excellencies that are here your Royal Majesties and we give thanks to God for this opportunity that God has given to us to come together as a nation to worship Him. It has been a wonderful evening. And in fact, no wonder when Peter saw the glory of God. He said, Lord, let us build 
two tabernacles here, three tabernacles that we may continue to dwell here. But the night is far spent and we have to go. Christmas is a season of joy. And for this year's Christmas, the message is, it is the Messiah, the encounter that transforms lives. It is the Messiah, the encounter that transforms lives. As we celebrate the joy, love, and peace from God, brought to humanity by Jesus Christ, whose birth we celebrate, the birth of Jesus Christ changed humanity and indeed the history of the world. Jesus is the center of history and indeed because of him we record history by BC before Christ and AD after the death of Christ or Anno Domino. And the reason for this season is Jesus Christ. But as we celebrate Christmas, we must be mindful of the fact that the world has indeed commercialized Christmas and there is the attempt to take away Christ from this celebration. And in fact, I don't know if it is a conscious mistake. Some people would always write X mass, canceling Christ out of the celebration. Our text and theme for this 2022 carol is apt, especially as we see ourselves in Nigeria engaging in so many things that threaten even our own very existence. And especially as we search for political leadership come 2023, someone said that Nigeria does not need a messiah in the next year's election. Our Carole theme draws us to an encounter with Jesus Christ the everlasting king, and the one who can transform not only the life of the individuals, but also he can transform our communities and our nation. It is the Messiah. This is a statement of an understanding of an encounter. An encounter is to meet someone, and in this case, Jesus Christ, unexpectedly, and be confronted with the reality that engages and changes someone fundamentally. And as we encounter him in this Christmas season, my prayer is that we shall exclaim, it is the Messiah. When the disciples who went for fishing after the resurrection of Jesus Christ met with the risen Lord, as we see in John chapter 21 verse 7, the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. That encounter restored Peter and recommissioned him with a fresh commissioning and giving him a new mission. They leopard throughout the night and they caught nothing after toiling all the night. But when Jesus met them at the shore of the Sea of Galilee, we celebrate the Messiah as we encounter him afresh my prayer is that he shall restore all that we have lost and realign us to the will of God. This was the experience of the woman at the well who met with Jesus, as we have read in 
John chapter 4. In fact, verses 28 and 29 says that the woman then left her water pot and went her way back to the city and said to the men, Come, see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Could this be the Christ? The village of Sychar experienced the touch of the power of life in the meeting with Jesus, the Messiah. And we are going to consider who is this Messiah? What is the purpose of his coming? And what are the implications or the impacts of encountering him? Who is this Messiah? The Messiah is the anointed one or the Christ who would be sent by God to rule and shepherd God's people. He would deliver them from the bondage of their enemy and restore them to the peace and prosperity that God promised to Abraham, the friend of God. He would execute judgment on the wicked and reward the righteous. His coming will mark a new dawn in and for Israel. God called some people though who were not Israelites. God called them his own chosen ones or anointed ones. Kings like King Nebuchadnezzar, King Cyrus, and King Hazel. As we see in Isaiah 25 verse 9, Isaiah 41 verse 25, and 1 Kings 19 verse 15. The Messiah epitomizes the man appointed by God to accomplish the task of redemption of God's people and rule over nations. The figure became a central focus in Israel and as such assumed a conqueror or a political figure. His coming would usher in the day of the Lord and the visitation of our God. But in God's own plan, the Messiah would be a servant, the servant of the Lord. He would suffer and die in the cause of obeying and doing the will of the Father. But God would raise him on the third day from the dead. The Messiah is the core promise in the covenant between God and King David. As we see in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 11 and to 14, 14b, God promised to establish a, a, a dynasty in David. And the son of David who would sit on his throne will build God's temple, will build God's people. He would reign eternally. He would reign forever. And God said, I will be his father and he shall be my son. This son of David was spoken of by Isaiah the prophet in Isaiah chapter 9, chapter 9 verses 1 to 7. Just as we have read in verses 6 and 9, 6 and 7. And there it says, unto us a child is given. The child that is given also shares in our humanity. And as we celebrate Christmas, we are celebrate the mystery of his incarnation. That God became man. The word took flesh and dwelt among us. 
that God shared in our humanity. Jesus became one of us, was tempted just as we are, but without sin. He knows our weakness, he understands our failures, and he is able to deliver all who put their trust in him. The son was given unto us a son is given. The son that God has given is indeed God himself. As we can see in that verse 6, the name given to him are indeed, the names are the character and the personality of God. And Paul testifying to this in Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 to 18 and also in Colossians chapter 2, 9 and 10 testifies that this Jesus who is God, has shared in our humanity. In fact, chapter 2, verses 1, verses 9 and 10 says, For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And indeed, in him we are complete. Who is the head of principalities and powers? This son that was given for us is the son of God. For in John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to the end that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Yes, this son is the seed of the woman that God promised us as we see in Genesis chapter 3 verse 16 he is the one that will crush the head of the serpent this son that was given is the seed of Abraham that will deliver and bless the nations of the world he is the son of the virgin who shall come and whose name shall be called Emmanuel. Isaiah 7 verse 14. He is the son of God. Just as we see Isaiah prophesying. And in Luke chapter 1 verses 31 to 33. The angel of the Lord said to Mary. And behold you shall conceive in your womb. And bring forth a son. And shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest and God will give him the throne of his father David and of his kingdom there shall be no end. At his birth in Luke chapter 2 verses 9 and 10 the angelic host said that this is a tiding of great joy to all people. For in the city of David, in Bethlehem, is born today the Savior, who is Christ the Lord. He is Jesus. He came to deliver us from our sins. He is the Savior of the world. What is the purpose of his coming? Jesus the Messiah came to serve and not to be served and to give his life as a ransom for many as we see in Mark 10 45. Before now when you talk of paying ransom we may not be able to understand what it means but when we have paid and paid and paid for ransom for our brothers, our sisters, our ministers, and we understand what paying ransom means now. Glory be to God for Jesus. 
the Messiah who came not only to come and serve but to give his life to pay the ultimate price that we be redeemed from the power of sin and of Satan and to set us free and he says if the son of God shall set you free you will be free indeed And coming to serve, he served to the utmost. He went about doing good, healing, delivering, ministering to the needs of the people. And in Luke chapter 4, in verses 18 and 19, he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel, the good news to the poor. Heal the brokenhearted, give liberty to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind, freedom to those that are oppressed, and to proclaim the jubilee of the Lord, the acceptable year of the Lord. As we may see in Leviticus 25, when the trumpet of jubilee is sounded, the prisons will be let open. Everybody that have lost anything will receive those things back. And even if you are owing, your debts are cancelled. Jesus, the Messiah, comes to declare the jubilee of the Lord. Jesus came to save us from the power of sin, Satan and death. He did this by giving his own very life as a sacrifice, shedding his own blood on the cross. He paid the ransom that sets humanity free from every bondage and captivity. By his name, by his life, by his ministry, by his death, by his resurrection, Jesus saves. Amen. It was necessary that the Messiah should suffer and die. But not only that he should suffer and die, but also he, should, he shall rise from the, from the dead. He gives us forgiveness. He shows us mercy. He gives us eternal life, hope, and purpose to live for everyone that will look up to him in faith and put his trust in God through faith in Jesus Christ, the Messiah. In our text, in John chapter 4, we can see that the Samaritan woman encountered this Messiah. And she, was, she did not remain the same again. The encounter with the Messiah may have about four or five implications or things that he will do in the life of whoever that encounters him. First, he restores purpose to life. Two, he gives peace and brings reconciliation. Three, he leads us to experience the true and believing God. And he uses the person he encounters in order to touch other lives, to bear witness, and to transform our society. Jesus restores purpose to life. As we look at our text, the woman of Samaria as we may see, was a woman that was lonely, embarrassed, and in fact, her life was worthless. Imagine the time she came to the well to draw water. It was the time when nobody could have seen her. Why did she come out in such a time? It is because of the worthlessness and the emptiness of her life. And in fact, you may realize that when Jesus said, go and call your husband, she said, look, I have no husband because she had married five and she is in the sixth one. 
a woman with deceased husband. And when she was told, go and bring your husband, she said <laughs> she had no husband. It means that she knew that her life had finished and had no worth. And when Jesus said, give me a drink, in the brokenness of her life, in the brokenness of her marriage, in the lust and devastations, overwhelmed by the problems that surrounded her, she raised issues with Jesus. But thanks be to God that the Messiah came not to condemn. He came not to condemn the world, not to condemn you and me. He came that we may have life. He came that we may be forgiven. He came to restore us to purpose. So no matter whatever you may be passing through, you may have even told yourself that you are worthless. But even if it is you only, Jesus would have come. He loves you. He cares for you. Amen. And that is the love that we are celebrating. Love for the loveless. Regard for the worthless. Amen. For God demonstrated his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Jesus took our place. Glory be to God. And as we look at this woman being confronted, encountering the Messiah, we can see that Jesus also revealed herself to her. And I am praying that as we encounter the Messiah, we will not only see the glory and the power of God, we will come to understand what God needs us to do in order to be reconciled to him. To him. And as we may see, that the greatest problem of the woman is the woman herself, is the problem of her sin and that which the enemy has put upon her life. In Psalm 19 verses 12 and 13, the psalmist says, Who can understand his errors? And he says, Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and I shall be innocent of great transgressions. And I pray that as we celebrate the Messiah, we shall encounter him afresh in a way that we shall receive the mercy of God. And may Jesus touch our lives afresh and restore purpose to us in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the Messiah, the Prince of Peace, reconciles us to God. He transcends our culture, our tribal and religious barriers. And the woman asked Jesus, how is it that being a Jew, you are asking water from me, a Samaritan woman. For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Brothers and sisters, in our fractured world and nation, our religious and political leaders have politicized religion. religion and in fact, we pronounced our tribal differences. When we consider Nigeria of today, our differences and, the, and the diversities have become weaponized, but God intended them to be for our strength. Jesus is our peace. He has reconciled us to God by his death on the cross of Calvary. And in this Christmas, he speaks to us the word of reconciliation, of forgiveness, of forbearing with one another, and of making us instruments of God's love, peace, and unity. Just as 
St. Francis of Assisi said, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, let there be pardon. Where there is discord, let there be unity. Where there is doubt, let there be faith. Where there is darkness, let there be light. Where there is despair, let there be hope. Where there is let there be joy for your mercy and your truth sake. Like Jesus encountered this woman, the Messiah brought her back to God. When she raised the issue of where to worship God, whether on the mountain of the Samaritans or in Jerusalem, Jesus made it clear that God is spirit. And he desires that whosoever that wo shall worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He desires truth in the inward path. And we pray that we shall be touched and be led back to the one who has come for us. I pray that as we encounter him in this Christmas, Emmanuel, God with us, the Messiah, will so touch us to transform our character and our lives that we shall be pure, peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and of good fruit, without partiality and without hypocrisy, so that the seed of righteousness that brings peace shall be sown by us as God's own instruments. And as we rise up from this place, may we impact our community, may we impact our society for God, just as this woman did. This same Jesus is coming back again. Are we ready? May we prepare our hearts and lives to meet the Messiah, the coming King. He will come again in his glorious majesty to take unto himself all who have loved and waited for him. He will rule forever. His dominion will be an everlasting dominion. And like the Samaritan woman, may we have the torch of the Messiah fresh in this season and may he rule over our lives, our families and our nation with joy with peace and with love Amen Let us pray, let us pray Father, we give you thanks for your word that has gone forth. Touch our lives and draw us unto yourself. Rule and reign over our situations. Rule and reign over the conditions in this nation. And rule and reign over our world. And Lord, may all be drawn unto you through Jesus Christ our Lord. God bless you. Thank you, the Most Reverend Henry C. Indukuba. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause 
as the minister, the Port Harcourt Mail Assemble, River State.
State. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we have been sitting for a while, so we would like to do a leg stretch as we take the congressional hymn number three, Silent Night, that you can find on page seven of the program booklets. It's my pleasure to introduce a young lady who is going to play the keyboard as we take this hymn. Could you give a very great round of applause to God's gift, George, all the way from Port Harcourt.
Thank you, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. We can please be seated. We still have on the program a lot of exciting ministration. We we'll just ask us to tighten our seatbelts because there is more to come. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the magnificent choral group from Jalingo Taraba State. Can we please welcome them with a round of applause?
Thank you. Thank you very much, the Magnificent Coral from Jalingo. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, next up, Mina Coral Society, Niger State. While the MENA Choral Society group gets set, I'd just like to again let us know, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, that we still have exciting ministrations, performances ahead. Do fasten your seatbelts. It's still in for an exciting time in the few minutes ahead.
Thank you. Thank you very much, Minakara Society, Niger State. We shall now take the third lesson, Joseph's angelic visitation, the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 25. We would like to invite His Majesty, King Jaja of Okobo, Dr. Danderson Douglas Jaja, to please come up to read the third lesson. was espoused to Joseph before they came together. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Jesus, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. Being a pri privily. But while he thought on these things. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bear Bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by this prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not, till she had, her, she had brought forth her first son. And he called his name Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Next up is a man who confirms that every one of us is differently able and even without physical sight. He is gifted. Please give a very warm reception to Mustafa Yusuf. Modupe! Modupe! Morianubao!
Gloria nu ba o Abi Tolorun ba so pe ko deran ki lo fe se fo Olorun oba If God says you should be a mosquito ki lo fe se fo Olorun oba Mo iya logo Raise your hands and say Mo Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a dance. You say, raise it up, raise it up, raise the loop up. Thank you. See, come on, join me, sing hallelujah. That indeed was energizing. Next up, please welcome the Lord's Trumpeters, Abuja.
Are you asking for more? <laughs> you like some more? There's more coming on later. There's more coming on later. Thank you, the trumpeters of Abuja. Wonderful. Thank you very much for livening the atmosphere. Thank you, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. We shall now take the fourth lesson the Shepherd's Angelic Visitation from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, verses 6 to 16. I would like to invite my Lord Justice of the Supreme Court, Helen Moron Keji Ogunwimiju, to please take the fourth lesson.
from the Gospel of Luke, verse 2, chapter 6 to 16. Luke, chapter 2, verses 6 to 16. And it's titled, Shepherd's Angelic Visitation. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And, the, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men and his men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Justice Helen Ogumidu. Long time ago in Bethlehem, I was only Bible said. Mary's born child, Chineke, was born on Christmas Day. My name is Kenny Blacko, and I just got back here. Mary's born child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Your Excellency is very distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen. I am Otolori Kende Osibanjo Black. And I am happy to be here. Every look at your neighbor and say neighbor. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. Oh. What happened to me will happen to you. Ask your neighbor, what happened to you? Hope you are not owing people. I'm honored to be here. I just got back from the state, from Lagos State, and um, I am happy to be here. So, and if there is one thing, His Excellency, the VP always asks me, is Kenny Black, when are you going to get married? Because you have added so much weight. Have I added weight? It's not my fault. Now, Daddy, I'm going to prove to you that I started gym, but it did not work. And it's not just me. If you are here and you paid for gym for four months, we only attended two days. Make some noise. My colleagues are here. Now, this is how you know. Make some noise if you have a flat tummy. Make some noise if you have a big belly. Make some noise if you wish to have a flat tummy. Make some noise if you just want to live your life. So, sir, please tell my gym instructor 
I'm not doing anymore. Now, Bele, I get handle key person. Because in church, if you want to get married, there are two departments to pick a wife the ushering department and the choir department. I've realized that the married ushers welcome you anyhow because they have nothing to lose. I just look at you. You walk, bye. And you, this side. When you go, bye. We love Pastor Mugbado. And he said, Pastor, Pastor, say, Baba. But you see the single ushers, from the way they stand, you know that they are the one for you. Welcome to church. Worship the Lord. Can I take your Bible? Yes, follow me. Now, do you care for tea? Yes. What's of bread? Did this not leave communion? Oh. After this, I have a sister. Can I have your number? I don't give strangers my number. 0816-9442. But the single sisters in the choir department, this is how to catch them. Some of them, they know. Is there a keyboard here? Just give me F9 or give me any key. I'll find the padlock. Put me on G. How to catch in our carols like this? We invite ministers. Some of them, know the beginning of the song, but don't know the end. Some of them know the song, actually. This is the ones that know the song. They always come, they are humble. You hear light of the world. You step down into darkness. Open my eyes. Let me see. Yeah, I am to worship. Yeah, I am to bow down. Yeah, I am to say you're my God. That is the one that knows the song. The one that don't know the song. When you invite them, they'll come and they'll come and look surprised. They will not look at the choir and see that I think that the problem. They will not ask you a question they know the answer to. Do you know why you are here? We can't play football. You're not here. Mm, 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 mm. The define song. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. After two hours. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Mm, 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 mm. They will now see that there's only one there. They will not carry the church along. Why don't you lift up your hand? After one hour, oh, lift it up. All of us will stand straight because they bend. They will not speak one English that we don't understand. Lift up your hands above the heavens. They will not pick the same song, but they don't know chorus. You hear light of the whoa, 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 whoa. You step down into darkness, darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. They are forgotten. Let me see. Let me see. See, 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 see. Let me see your oh, baba. But in the choir department, my pastor said to me, Kenny Black, you have an amazing voice. They deserve which we call normal worship, just worship God. Sing worship song, but indirectly talk to, your, to the love of your life. Daddy, there was a sister in front. I have never seen her before. I wonder that once I sing worship song, she will connect with me. So at the back, I just shouted. I said, you are the love of my life. I said, you mean more than this word to me. As she heard my voice, she said, they cried. <laughs> I said the words, then she replied. I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Nobody's great. Nobody's great, no. Nobody's greater than you. I knew she was talking to me, so I replied, Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hey, it was Pastor that preached that day. Pastor just said, Hold somebody. Tell him that you love. Put your hands together and pray that Lord. The girl was standing close to me, so I held her hand and I said, I need you. You need me. We are a part of God. That when I saw this guy, I thought she was the flesh of my flesh, the bone of my bone. She was the bone of my flesh. That if you see baby, if you see mustache, I write down, see muscle, 
I left her muzzle. I said, sister, my name is Kenny Black. I'm a music comedian. She said, well, my name is Jessica. I'm a coach. I said, eh? I said, what kind of coach? She said, boxing. So I said, no weapon from the against me shall prosper. She said, I love you. I said, love me. God forbid. I'm in love with Jesus. He's in love with me. When, when she was going outside, I saw her inside the Range Rover Sports latest model. I said, who is the owner? I said, she's the owner. And the other two G wagon is for any man that want to marry her. I went to meet her. Jessica, she said what? I said, I have made you too small in my eyes. She said, what do you want? I say, I give myself away. I don't know if I have a lot of time. Ibo Kwenu. Ibo Kwenu. Daddy. Our Igbo people, they need to understand. Thank you, Kibo. They need to understand how to... Igbo song is the simplest song to sing in the world. Even song that doesn't have verse, Igbo will create verse. Number song. My Jesus, you are wanting to be praised, Lord. My Jesus, you are wanting to be... My mama, mama, my Jesus, hey, you are wanting to be... My mama, hey, you are wanting to be praised. Continue. Verse 1. You are wanting, you are wanting, you are wanting, yeah. You are wanting, you are wanting, you are wanting, yeah. Anyway, you are wanting, you are wanting, you are What is your problem? Bring it down. Ma, I've been here when people are singing Yoruba song. I wonder what Yoruba song. La Toja Timotini. Eh, eh. When I remember saying Kaji song, it's different. What you hear is La Toja Timotini. Meow. 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 Hey, Cody, do Jesus say, wait, I didn't want meow, meow. All of you will sing now. Long song, John Timothy, everybody say, can you see them? And they can come every verse that they know. You will hear, in the book, 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 the one they don't know. In the book of Ezekiah, Ezekiah chapter 4, they are forgotten. Hey, wait, chapter 4. Hey, Bubedike, chapter 4. Shimoro Bimo, chapter 4. When I say Ezekiah, you will say chapter 4. Ezekiah, no. Ezekiah, no. What is in chapter 4? In your lane, your lane, your lane, how? Finally, before I leave, if you're having fun, put your hands together for Jesus. Now, engineer, engineer, every get experience 2020 ready. Sir, our culture is big. I've been invited to perform in India. Yes, that clap for me. I'm a travelist. And sir, one of the reasons why they invited me is because of this joke. Because one Indian guy said to me, say, I want to thank you, Kenny Black. We are wonderful comedian. I don't know what you are with the Igbo people, but they are very good. I said, what's your name? My name is Raj. But because of the Igbo people, my name is Emekar. I said, what's your name? Emekar. I said, see, I want to start singing Igbo song. Eh? India wants to sing Igbo song. I said, how will you start? I will say, umo chineke yeru. They will say, yeru. I will say, Umo Jesus, Igwer, they will say, Igwer. How will an Igbo Indian song sound like? Should we try it? Should we try it? Experience 2020, playback. Chukune Mekar, Agune Chimbar, Chukune Mekar, Onye Nakwariyan, you are Yahweh. To give him praise. Oh, Jesus, he's there. On your care, who are the people in the last in the care, 
Thank you so much for having me. Bring it down. Before I go, Your Excellency, the VP, I am honored to be in your presence. And people don't know that I know you. That's the problem with them. They don't know that we, we are close. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know that you know the VP is is is, is my is my is my guy. He's my personal person. They don't know, sir. I even tell them that. Do you know me? They say, "Who are you?" This is VP. I'm AP. <laughs> so, sir, I'm going to do one thing, sir. I'm going to just sit there in front. We'll take a picture. You we'll point at me. That's my son. <laughs> Any police checkpoint, you chef a baller way. You want to lose your job? Photographer, work for your balance. <laughs> so, Daddy, uh, they have to know that we are both correct. So, you do peace. Yes. Photographer, I need you. Are we good? Hope I'm showing you. Now I'm black. We don't go put out shadow. Uh -huh. So, sir, with this picture, even if I used to parents, I've met my parents. Thank you so much. Now, are you ready to breathe with more than a song? and move from fragrance to fire and make worship your weapon. Give yes, please give a warm applause as we receive the ministry of Ducey. I believe that belongs to Jesus. Can we make it louder in this place? Hallelujah. Please, as we minister tonight, can you please put up Psalms 22 from verse 27 to 28. I believe that the Lord will want us to just declare the scripture over this nation. Psalms 22 from verse 27 to 28. If I can have it on the scripture, I want us to declare on the screen. I want us to Psalms 22 from verse 27 to 28. I want us to declare it together over Nigeria. Are we ready? Everybody, can we declare? All the hands of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. And all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. Verse 28. For the kingdom is the Lord and is the governor among the nations. Would you lift your hands and just thank the Lord for Nigeria. And say, and say to the Lord, Nigeria belongs to the Lord. Lift your hands and just declare. The most I reign it. The most I reign it. The most I reign it. In this place today. The most I reign it. Lift it up. The most. Oh, the most. Somebody say the most high. Lift your hands and declare. We declare the most in Nigeria. I am. Somebody say the most high. The most high.
Oh, my. 
and his name shall be called Jesus. He's the Messiah, we call him Yeshua, Hamashiach. We sing your name over this nation. Your word says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Nigeria is calling upon your name. Let this Christmas mark it turn around in our nation. Yeshua, Hamashiach. Akune Chemba Yeshua sing Yeshua we call that name from this place Hamashia You are the lion Lion of Judah Oh Akune Chemba Can you call Chemba one, Yeshua, hey, Hamashia, you are the lion, lion, will you roar over Nigeria, Yeshua, somebody call his name, say, Yeshua, Hamashia, you are the lion, As I sound my trumpet, I want you to release worship like incense, like intercession. Let it rise from this house over this nation. Your worship is a weapon as we proclaim His name.
the Lord has already done. What we are waiting for will come to pass. I don't know what you expected from him in 2022, but we serve a God who keeps his word. So let's sing this over you. See what the Lord has done. You will sing this song.
what we are praying for will come to pass. <laughs> What was prophesied about will come to pass. Surely we will see what the Lord has done. Merry Christmas, Nigeria. Thank you, ministers Nathaniel Bassi and Jussi Oyekon. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the close of this exciting concert. And it's my pleasure to invite, to give the vote of thanks, the Senior Special Assistant to the President Media, Office of the Vice President, Pastor Laulu Akonde, to the vote of thanks. And shortly after the vote of thanks, we shall have the closing prayer and benediction, and then the Alleluia Chorus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. On behalf of uh, His Excellency, the Vice President, and Her Excellency, we just want to say a big thank you to everyone that has come out today, all the mis uh, musical groups and uh, uh, the uh, distinguished guests, our royal fathers, uh, the archbishop, and everyone that has been here today. We just want to say thank you so much for coming out. And we pray and believe that the spirit of rejoicing, which is the spirit of Christmas, we go with you from now even to the next year, and you will have much joy ahead of us as a nation, as a people, and God's will will continue to be done in our lives. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Laulu Akonde. It's my pleasure to invite, representing the President of the Christian Association of Nigeria, His Grace, Right Reverend Akinwale, the Methodist Archbishop Abuja, to give the closing prayer and benediction. Shall we all rise in the presence of the Lord after this glorious night? To God be the glory Great things he has done, so love he the world that he gave us his son, who yield that his life are not meant for sin. And Lord, praise the Lord. Let me hear His voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus. What a glorious night. What a manifestation. Father, we return all praise and thanks to you because you have really manifested yourself tonight. Your spirit dwells in the midst of your people. Thank you, Lord, for insp the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your mighty presence in the midst of your people. Thank you because you have taken over this nation. Thank you because this nation is in the hollows of your hands. Thank you because Nigeria is already delivered. Thank you because peace will be reigning in this country. Thank you because the siege of wickedness is over. The siege of corruption is over. The siege of killing is over. 
This is a dawn of a new era. We therefore speak peace in this land. Peace to the judiciary. Peace in the executive. Peace in the three arms of government. Peace in all government parastatal. Peace in the south. Peace in the west. Peace in the east. Peace in the central region. Peace all over the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Lord, as we go tonight, may your presence go with us. We cover this nation with the blood of Jesus. We cover the totality of our region with the blood of Jesus. In the name of the living God, we take authority. And we declare that it is well with Nigeria. That Nigeria will prosper. That Nigeria is a place of refuge. It's a place of restoration. That human dignity will be restored back to this country. That the glory of Nigeria has risen again. That the year 2023 will be free from violence. Nigeria will not be disintegrated. Peace will reign in every family. Peace will reign in every local government. Peace will reign in every state. Peace will reign at the national level. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And as we go, we pray that your presence will go with us. Keep and save us from the perils and dangers of this night. And grant, O oh Lord, that no forces will subdue our land, but we will walk in dominion. We will walk in prosperity. We will walk in glory. So shall it be. We declare this in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Amen. Thank you, sir. The Alleluia Chorus.
Daddy, the primates for Nigeria. Hey, Baba, primate, Nigeria. Thank you so much for this honor. Thank you so much for this privilege of sharing in the joy of Diocese of Abuja what God has been doing for these 33 years. For that wonderful opportunity of standing before the people of God to minister the word this afternoon. Thank you, sir. Mama Nigeria, I thank you so much, ma. Mama Nigeria, for the encouragement and lesson that your life is giving us. Thank you so much. I quickly want to thank the organizing team led by our brother Venerable S.D. Okoriko. Thank you so much. Our theme is an interesting one. It's a quite interesting one. Who art thou, O mountain? Who art thou, O mountain? Can we say it together? Are you hearing me? If you are hearing me, can you wave your hands? Wherever you are, if you are hearing me, can you wave your hands? Can I hear you shout that challenging word from... Thank you, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.